Good morning, Go to the Late Show from the WCAC TV studio. I'm Jay Sobardo alongside Cami Kaminsky. Coming up today, reporter Joe Kozich highlights the cross country team's local performance and audition information for the musical is announced. All this and more on today's morning announcement. Students interested in auditioning for this year's musical, Mamma Mia, are asked to stop by Mr. Crack's room, H106, to pick up the sheet music for audition. You must also visit the School District Theater Arts webpage for vocal and piano tracks. There will be a mandatory meeting on Monday, November 4th at 3 o'clock in the choir room for all interested students in auditioning. Auditions will be held on Wednesday, November 13th and Friday, November 15th from 3 to 6 p.m. in the choir room. You can sign up for an audition outside H106. Dance auditions and callbacks will take place on Saturday, November 16th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. French Club is selling blue raspberry and strawberry bonbons now through November 6th while supplies last. See Mrs. Antola, French students, or club members for more info and enjoy this special treat. Vision screenings for all students grades 9 through 12 will be held in the CSE today through Friday, November 1st. Screenings will be done in conjunction with the artwork viewing. The artwork included pieces chosen from each elementary school, one chosen from the junior high, and pieces selected by student council for your vote. Students will be receiving their vision passes during English classes. A reminder to all students to please wear your contacts and eyeglasses for screenings. If you are a current wrestler or interested in wrestling, you and your parents must attend the parent night kickoff on Tuesday, November 5th at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. The spirit wear information will be presented and closed shortly after as well as all the dates for the upcoming season. If you have any questions, please see Coach Schmeling in A201. Now here is Corbin Makar with the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. It's time for your Halloween weather report. Today calls for heavy showers with some, with some possible, possible thunderstorms throughout the day with a high of 69 and a low of 34. Tomorrow calls for partly cloudy skies and a big drop in temperature with us seeing a high of 45 and a low of 27. Finally, on Saturday, we'll see some partly sunny skies along with a high of 52 and a low of 30. That's all, your, that's all for your weather report. Thanks and happy Halloween. Thanks, Corbin. Seniors are asked to help your class officers fundraise for prom. We're selling Sarah's candy for the holidays. You can pick up an order form in the 11-12 office. All of the money we raise goes towards lowering the overall cost of prom tickets. Every sale counts. Orders and money are due on Thursday, November 14th to Ms. Speedle or Mrs. Souter. Sophomores and juniors interested in summer intense academic programs that have replaced the former PA Governor's Schools in Healthcare, Entrepreneurship, and Agricultural Sciences are asked to stop in the 11-12 office to see Ms. Hager for application and deadline. The Physics Olympiad Club will have its inaugural meeting on Thursday, November 7th during Lunch and Learn 1 in Ms. Morrison's room S202. If you have an interest in physics that you would like to pursue, then Physics Olympiad could be the club for you. The F equal MA exam, club structure, activities, and more will be discussed. Email Jonah Lotz or Christopher Cox with more information or any questions. Senior t-shirt orders are now being taken online and in the Commons today and Friday during Lunch and Learn. The cost is $10 per shirt. If you're ordering in person, you must have your $10 to place your order. Visit the student store's website at wildcaststore.glsd.us to see this shirt and to order online. The deadline to order is Friday, November 1st. Now here's AJ Rock with the sports report. Thanks, Cami. Congratulations to the field hockey team for being named the WPIAL runner-up. On Tuesday, they played in the championship game against Penn Trafford at Fox Cap. The girls fought hard but ended with a final score of 4 to 0. Also, on Tuesday, student athletes who have hope of making the baseball team next spring had a Halloween costume scrimmage at Lake Trope High School. The matchup was between Team Fun, led by Ben Rafferty, and Team Chum, led by Logan Bradish. The game was a back and forth battle, but Team Fun ended up pulling through with the victory. Finally, the boys' volleyball team is getting closer to the start of their season. First, the first open gym taking place. The team's players and coaches hope to follow well after a strong last season, winning sections and going nearly undefeated. We go now to reporter Joe Kozic with more on the cross-country team <coughs> state championship meet this weekend. The cross-country teams from across the area met at California University of Pennsylvania for the Whippeal Championship meet on Thursday. Both the boys and girls teams finished 10th out of 30 teams in Triple A. The teams from North Allegheny were the Whippeal champions in both races. Qualifying for the boys team was Joseph Hill, completing the 5K course in 1721 and finishing 22nd. 
Justin Carlson, Dante Friskier, August Lawrence, and Clayton Sakalowski scored with J.S. Florek and Noah Pittman rounding out the squad. Lexi Plinsek led the way for the Lady Wildcats, finishing 22nd in a time of 2039 and qualifying for a place in the PIAA State Championships. Also qualifying was Rachel Harder, nine seconds back, finishing 26th. Anna Soison, Aubrey Cable, and McKenna Scatell completed the scoring for Latrobe, with Lizzie Plunsek and Hayden Kranick also competing. The three individual qualifiers for the Wildcats is the most for the team since 1998. Plunsek, Harder, and Hill will join the rest of the state qualifiers on Saturday, November 2nd, for the PIAA Championship meet at Hershey Park's Parkview Course in Hershey, PA. Pitt Greensburg will be hosting a Power of Healthcare event on Monday, November 11th, where students can learn about healthcare and nursing careers. This event will provide students a better understanding of what courses they need to take, while also gaining more knowledge about this industry by speaking with our faculty, admissions team, and healthcare professionals. Students can register for the event on the Pitt Greensburg website. For more info, please see Mrs. Yetter in the 1112 office. Students taking the SAT here on Saturday are reminded to bring your admission ticket photo ID, number two pencils, and an approved calculator with you. You must have both your admission ticket and photo ID to be admitted. Now here's Hannah Yothers with What's Cooking. What's Cooking Latrobe? This Halloween we have buffalo chicken tenders in the main line with smiley potatoes, broccoli tops, and funnel cake. Over in the cultural corner we have tiny sriracha chicken with homemade fried rice and more broccoli tops. Finally, the soup of the day is chicken and rice. Yeah, what's cooking? Thank you. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Hannah. The Pennsylvania Department of Education is pleased to announce that the Pennsylvania Governor's School for the Sciences at Carnegie Mellon University is now accepting applications from talented high school juniors for the Summer 2020 program. This is an intensive five-week summer residential program, which emphasizes cooperative learning and hands-on laboratory research for 56 talented high school juniors pursuing careers in science and math. Accepted applicants will receive a full scholarship to the program. Completed applications must be submitted online no later than January 31st. See Ms. Hager in the 1112 office if you're interested. On Thursday, October 24th, students from the PBL Astronomy English class presented their sundial project to Mr. Maines and members of the school board. The final product of the sundial will be built at the new LEF. We'll be show showcasing more of their projects throughout the year. The Powder Puff football game sponsored by the Pep Club will take place on Rossi Field on Friday, November 15th at 6 p.m. The boys will be doing a cheer routine. We'll have a first practice today from 6.30 to 7.15. You will review stunt safety and uniform distribution. If you are a junior or senior girl who wants to participate in the flag football game, six slots are still available. Sophomore and freshman girls are also having openings for 25 team roster. Go to your school email to sign up. Reporting for WCAT-TV, this has been Cami Kaminsky and Jay Sobardo. Thanks for watching and have a happy Halloween. Stay tuned for a Halloween-themed Kid in the Hall. Dressing up as Dwight Kurt Schrupt from The Office. I'm dressing up as a wizard for Halloween. Chris Griffin. For Halloween, I'm dressing up as Eleven from Stranger Things. For Halloween, I am being uh, Waldo. For Halloween, I am being Wayne Campbell from the movie Wayne's World, accompanied by Garth Algar. Sarah Sakalowski, watch out, you're done. <laughs> for Halloween, I'm being Michael Myers. We're going to be an angel and a devil, and we're going to do it better than Lily and Lex. Absolutely. 